Hello friends, welcome to SQL Performance Tuning video series. Being the first video in this series, I just want to cover a small introduction to performance tuning and what topics developer needs to know with respect to performance tuning and what I will be covering in the rest of the videos in this series. To begin with, let us understand what is a performance tuning. In simple terms, it is nothing but improving the processing time. That is, the process of analyzing and reducing the processing time is called performance tuning. Let us take few real-time examples where the performance tuning is a must. For example, cash withdrawals in an ATM or like online payment or like a payment through a credit card or a debit card or like waiting for an OTP message for some online registrations. You can say n number of examples like this. The one common thing with all these examples are all these things are OLTP systems that is online transaction processing systems where the response time is more important than anything else. However, on the other side, we have another set of applications called OLAP applications that is called online analytical processing applications. Typically, these systems will work on huge set of historical data to generate some report or some meaningful information out of the data. So in OL AP applications, the performance is not the primary concern rather than it is the information that we are bringing out of the huge data. So that is where we have another set of technologies like data science, data analytics, data mining, etc. Probably we will talk about all these things in some other video. Coming back to performance tuning, yes, from OLTP systems, processing time is more important than anything else. Okay, now let us understand what is SQL tuning. In simple terms, it is an iterative process to improve the performance of SQL statements. Definitely, it is not going to be a single step process. Rather, we iteratively implement some tuning methodology and keep on measuring the time taken till we get the expected response time. Okay, now let me show you what is the scope of tuning from developer point of view and from DBA point of view. Generally, at the development side, it involves tuning the SQL, PL SQL and the underlying objects. Probably this will this may involve something like a creating an index or creating some partition or rewriting the SQL kind of things. I just given a very small list here, but in the real time we will do much more analysis than whatever I have mentioned here. Okay, the SQL and the PL SQL execute on the memory structures like SGA and PJ that we we'll call it as like instance. And hence if the instance is not properly configured, that also may result in bad performance and the instance may run on the server and if the server is not properly configured that and that also may affect the performance of the system. However, the server tuning and instance tuning will be primarily taken care by DBA but it is good from a developer point of view to keep an eye on the other parameters that affect the performance. Okay, now let me tell you what are all the topics I'm just going to cover in this video or what are all the questions that will get answered as we go through this video series. Obviously, the first thing that comes into my mind is how can I identify which query is taking a long time in an application? The next one is once I have identified a query, where exactly can I start with the tuning or how exactly can I start with the tuning? Is there any tools or any other utilities that help me to improve or find the performance bottleneck or to find from where I can start with the tuning. What technical knowledge as a developer I should read or I should know before starting with the performance tuning. In case if there is a function, PLSQL function used in a query and if that query is taking a longer time, how can I find whether the problem is with the SQL or the problem is with the underlying PLSQL? how SQLs get executed internally. Obviously, when we talk about the performance tuning, we cannot ignore the index. Understanding the index will definitely help to improve the performance tuning and we need to know what are the types of index and what type of index will suit for what type of scenarios. Apart from this, I'll be covering few general tips and the best practices for performance tuning. If you have any other questions in your mind, please write back in the comment section so that I can combine while recording the related topics. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you few key topics that I'm going to cover and those are the key topics you also should know from your developer point of view. 
okay if you are a person with experience let's say less than six to seven years of experience then these are the topics good to know not just from the working aspect and also from the interview aspect also suppose if you are from like six to or like let's say 12 or 13 years of experience then it is must to know overall tuning aspect and all the topics whatever i am mentioning here however if you are like more than like uh, let's say 12 plus experience then definitely there is no limit understanding all these concept in depth will help i just mentioned only the key topics here however based on the comments i am receiving i'll be covering the rest of the topics in the subsequent videos so this is about a small introduction about the performance tuning i hope this is helpful for you thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question concept videos performance tuning videos and practical questions thanks a lot for watching this video